It uh, hurts my heart to know that when we just announced 100% of seniors at Vermin Day High School moving uh, all accepted to college, media was nowhere to be found. But to know that here we are with this vicious act of violence, uh, the media is here. My message is this, there's a lot of great things happening in Watts. And uh, we have ongoing partnerships with the community. It will be a very special graduation ceremony tonight for a local high school in the inner city. Every member of the graduating class is going to college. They all attended Verbum Day High School in Watts. CBS 2's Christine Lazar has their story of overcoming the odds. Compton teen Amari Joval played a game of soccer with his older brother, a welcome distraction from practicing his commencement speech. Tonight he will graduate as valedictorian of his class at Verbum Day Catholic High School. I feel that it was my responsibility because my parents didn't finish high school and they came here from another country. Most of the graduating seniors at the all boys school have overcome great obstacles. The campus sits in the middle of Watts, one of the city's roughest neighborhoods. Um, gangs, drugs. It's all there. And yet every single one of the school's graduates has been accepted into a two or four year university. We made it. Including Darius Spates. The teachers motivated us, the guidance counselors. Everyone wants us to do greater and better for ourselves and the people around us. This is video of last week's commitment ceremony. St. John's University in Minnesota. St. John's University in Minnesota. Where each and every graduate announced which college they'll go to next year. All 62 graduates stepped up to the mic. It is a pretty spectacular feat, but it was no surprise here at Verbum Day High School. You see, this is the fifth year in a row that every single graduating senior was accepted into college. Father Bill Muller says the average ninth grade student enters Verbum Day at a sixth grade reading level. We try to build scaffolds around kids, uh, not to do it for them, but to give them enough help uh, scaffolding uh, with mentoring, with tutoring, uh, Saturday school, uh, so that after a couple of years we can take the scaffolding away and they're freestanding. Students attend extended days four days a week and spend one day working in an entry level position at a local corporate office, which cuts their admission down to about $1,000 a year. Amari's older brother Jesse is also a Verbum Day graduate and just got his four year degree at Loyola Marymount. He repeated the 10th grade before landing at Verbum Day. I look at the students that I grew up with and I, I still feel like a lot of them were a lot smarter than I am. I just got that shot. In Watts, Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.